You know, we just got done with Valentine's Day and everything. Uh, I'm curious, have you seen the reports from, uh, God, what is it, WAG? Uh, I thought I wrote it down. Maybe I didn't. Uh, no, here we go. Wagsunfiltered.com. Did you see about Stefan Diggs, my brother? No. <laughs> so, Stefan Diggs, of course, wide receiver for the Buffalo Bills, apparently had two different women in two different hotel rooms in the same hotel on Valentine's Day, and they didn't know about each other. Explain to me how you could possibly make that work by moving from room to room throughout the evening. How would that work without either of them getting suspicious? Well, I'm not Stefan Diggs, so it's really hard for me to explain how I would do it because I'm not him, okay? (laughs) He is far more athletic and far more nimble and has skills that I'm certain that I do not have. All right. Hey, you you kind of was like two different women, two different hotels in the same hotel. Well, yeah, I mean, he's not going to be running across the street. He's not going to be yeah. driving down the road. They got to be in the same. They can't be on the same floor, but but they got to be in the same hotel. <laughs> well, of course, it's the same hotel. The I get that, but I, I'm just a, a, a what great, excuse? A great sick man. A great sick man is a great sick man. Okay. Yeah. No, but you you're not wrong that's there. It. That's, I, That's I can't it. imagine I would, the, the excuse. The excuse you use is, is I want to be with you, but I like to sleep alone. I like my privacy, so I have my own room, <laughs> and I will come to you whenever you want me to come to you. We'll do some Valentine stuff. You're gonna throw some loving on me, and then I'm gonna go do my own thing because I like my privacy and I got my own room. That's I ain't interesting. Sleeping with nobody, and I, then you just mosey your ass on down to the next one, <laughs> and then use the exact same lines over and over and over again. That's that's right. I mean, it's it's crazy. That is uh, that is certainly something. I'm mad at the, I'm mad at the news reporter for diving him out. <laughs> well, I think the, I think the girls eventually and perfectly content in this relationship. No, the girls found in out about situation. each other because I think they were both posting about it on Instagram at the same time. Like I think they found out about it, so then people started to realize. Wait a minute, both of these women are, are tagging him in stuff on Instagram, and. Yeah, it just it became like a whole thing. Uh, apparently, everybody's fine, well, though. Well this, like, well, this is why you can't let them take pictures of you. Because then they, <laughs> they can tag you all they want, and then you just tell the other one, man, but you, how am I going to do that? That's what she said. <laughs> like, that whole thing's ridiculous. Uh, no, you I found it. You can't, yeah, that would be a ridiculous, like, you got to be pretty brazen to accuse somebody of that, right? So like, oh, yeah. you just kind of play it off. Now, if you let them take pictures of your ass, then that's on you. I mean, the whole thing is is so insane. <laughs> look, nobody, look, I'm not mad. People who get mad about stuff like this, man, let's just, it's just sex. God, dog, man. Jesus, we're all grown up. <laughs> no, we, we're certainly doing that. It. And we, if you don't, don't. Okay? That's, yeah, that's fine, too. Do whatever makes you happy. That's and it. if doing two women in the same night in different hotel rooms makes him happy, then do that shit. I don't care. <laughs> do what you want to do. Do what you want to do. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's interesting. But that, that whole situation was uh, was quite hilarious. That's wild, though. That is wild. That is wild. I couldn't imagine it. I don't even know how I'd you know, be able to never, get through you know, the straight they never make like they never make, like, Valentine's Hallmark movies about stuff like that, right? Like, that's the kind of movie a dude wants to see. Yeah, that's uh. That's I told what I've you been before. I have a, I have a philosophy about Hallmark movies, right? Like Hallmark movies, like it always sucks to be the super successful attorney that lives in the city and is like a big shot, right? Yeah. Because the girl's gonna go home, see her dad one last time before he passes away, try to get his blessing for her lifestyle, moving to the city and leaving the house, not taking over the family store. And while she's there, she falls in love with with her old boyfriend who now milks cows for a living. No, no offense to those who milk cows for a living. And, 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 you know, they rekindle the fire and the old guy loses his job, a uh, girl, right? The, the, the rich, successful, you know, Wall Street dude loses his girl. Okay. Right. Here's, here's, here's the deal. No guy likes those movies at all. No guy watches those shows at all. Okay. There's only a chick thing, right? You want to get the guys involved? I can get you the guys involved. You don't have to change the movie one bit. Just got to make it about 17 minutes longer. All right? I, I need one scene at the end, and it's just the Wall Street dude done found some smoking hot bimbo, just just super fine chick. 
he took her on a private plane to a private island and he's just plowing the hell out of her. <laughs> and that's how you get guys. And guys will be like, you know what? That was a bad movie. That wasn't bad. They'll sit, through, they'll sit through an hour and a half of boohoo bullshit that no guy wants to watch. You give them the payoff at the end, they're like, hey, man, I forgot about that guy. I totally forgot he was even in this movie. Wow. Look at this. That's what that's what we need. That's all they need right there. And they can pick up the whole man. Now Hallmark would be like the biggest channel in the world. Oh, like yes. Everybody will watch those movies. Now. There's there's a way to get them all involved. There's they already a way. have all of the women. Then this... they get all of the men. And now everybody <laughs> on earth is, is on Hallmark. Which so, is one thing. Just make them a little bit longer. So Stefan, the way he did this, by the way, because uh, both of them were, were tagging him and, you know, doing all this stuff on Instagram. But in both of the rooms, he had roses and rose petals just thrown out all over the place. He had rose petals in the shape of a heart on both beds. Like, this man went full out on both of them. And both of them was tagged. Like, this one of them was Alicia, and the other one was uh, La Chante. And had the same setup for both of them. Like, flew them both out in private jets and everything. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> okay, so now we got it. Now we got it. First off, are flowers really that damn important to girls? Oh yes. Oh yes. I look. I have okay. made this mistake. I have made this mistake, and I will never make the mistake again. But he, and it doesn't have to necessarily be flowers on Valentine's Day. But like, if you if you do the flowers thing like once every mm, three weeks or so, uh, then then you're in the clear. But every yes, three weeks. God damn. Your it's a, no, no, no. She's trying to push I, the propaganda <laughs> on me. That I'm I don't not like. talking I don't about some $50 bouquet. I'm talking Gary's about. in bed with big floors. <laughs> and I don't deal with that. No. Every three weeks. No, I'm talking about a $5 little little look, look nice need, thing from Kroger or whatever. I need to Kroger hear on Twitter from folks out there. If you every three weekend, if you're every three weekend, you getting in trouble too damn much. <laughs> or or we're just trying to keep the peace. Oh, <laughs> well, Maybe. I don't, I don't need to keep peace. Listen, all right, so uh, I, this is the question I really want to ask, okay? Because right. I can't get inside the, the mind of a woman, but I, I'm absolutely inside the mind of a, of a, of a Neanderthal knuckle dragon man, okay? <laughs> what would a woman have to, that you were wanting to get with, have to put in that bedroom and put on that bed for you to be okay with her being with you, knowing she's about to go and be with you? Or, you know you're number two. Like she's coming in after you saw on Instagram the the whatever you know montage to that guy. What would what would that thing have to be for you to be like? You know what? I'm all right with this. <laughs> is there anything uh, that like that you like that like is makes you emotional or makes you forget reason or logic or is it just the fact that we're we're horny perverts and we're just like I don't care. Like, I'm, I'm probably oh, gonna, gonna go with the latter, uh, but man, yeah, yeah, if you're gonna be with you, me, I don't care who you've been with. I don't care who you're coming to. I like it. Don't matter to me, you know. <laughs> Look, it, the older I get, uh, you give me, you give me some good chicken wings, maybe some good ribs, uh, some good brews, and uh, and you know, it pays off at the end of the night. And the rest of it's kind of whatever, right? <laughs> Like, you don't really know. care where you've been earlier today, right? <laughs> it really don't matter. <laughs> Not really worried about how you got the ticket away. Exactly. Just, just glad that they're here. I don't okay. even care who paid for them. <laughs> see, this is how men and women are different. Like, this is this is, this is is how we're, this is things that make us, and I know, God Almighty, I'm sure that won't live. But thankfully, we're not famous, right? No, I don't thankfully, think so. Because if, cause if somebody real famous said that, like if Joe Rogan said that, like, the internet would explode. But, like, <laughs> nobody knows who we are, which is fine. I'm, I'm perfectly acceptable with that. So, yeah, You know what? Me too. Me too. Yeah, I, you give I, us some good barbecue. I'm just trying to figure out. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at, at Stefan. I'm impressed by him because I just don't think the female brain thinks like that. No, I don't think so either. But I, and I'm, I'm impressed that as well. Flowers would would like just make it all okay. I'm sure I'm that it wasn't. Did. It's if, not just flowers, right? Because it, you watch the videos on here, and there's champagne, and there's all this other kind of stuff, like a fancy meal. I'm, I'm gonna think some Venmo you know. exchange hands. You think that happened? <laughs> some maybe. I mean, <laughs> I'm, not mad, I'm not mad at the ladies either. I don't care. I mean, I, I don't care. I'm 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 curious. I'm I'm not. I'm not nitpicking it because I'm upset about it. I'm curious 
I would love to sit down with both these ladies. Not at the same time, by the way. No, no, no. Dude, not, no I'm no, not no, Steph no. on D. No, no. I want them. I want them one on one, and I'd like to just get inside their brain. I might not even ask them about Steph on. I just want to ask them about how they grew up, and like, tell me about your relationship with your dad, and like, <laughs> like I just, I'm just now curious, like, what was high school like with you? And I, I need to get inside the brains of someone like that. Because I would like I, to know, know how like, how how impressed were they with uh, the private plane that flew them in and all that kind of stuff, right? Yeah. Like, I'd, I'd like to know all of this. So, I don't know. Interesting stuff, though. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.